Yo, what's going on guys, X2 Flair here and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we've got the best midfielder picks for game week 5. And before we get into the video guys, please subscribe. We're trying to hit 500 subs by the end of the year and if we do so, you guys get to choose the wild card that I play for that upcoming game week. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. So the first player on the list is Hyun Min Son from Tottenham. He scored a whopping 18 points in game week 4, totaling a score to 45 points for the season, making him the top scoring midfielder so far. He's coming in at just £9 million with a very low 21.6% ownership, and for his returns of 6 goals and an assist this season, he could be a very nice under-owned and underpriced value option in the midfield. He's currently placed at a number 3 ICT index ranking, which is very impressive, and with the upcoming fixtures of West Ham, Burnley, Brighton, and West Brom, this could be a very good opportunity to bring Son into the squads and score some big points in the upcoming game weeks. So the second player on the list is Mo Salah from Liverpool. He scored 13 points in game week 4, totaling a score to 41 points for the season, making him the second highest scoring midfielder so far. Coming in at £12.2 million and with a 42.5% ownership, he's looking very good with 5 goals, 1 assist and 1 clean sheet for the season. Mo Salah currently has a ranking of number 1 on the ICT index, which is very good, and his next fixtures include Everton, Sheffield, West Ham, and then Man City, but those next three look very promising for some more attacking returns for Salah in the future. So the third player on the list is James Rodriguez from Everton. James scored twice and got an assist this week, totaling his score to 35 points for the season after getting 18 points in game week 4. James Rodriguez is currently the 4th highest scoring midfielder in the game, coming in at £7.8 million. His ownership has increased slightly this week as he's currently owned by 35.5% of managers, but still he could be considered under-owned considering that he got 3 goals, 2 assists and 1 clean sheet for the season so far. Hemez currently has a number 6 ICT index ranking which is very impressive and he's looking to score some more points in the future as he currently has a free roam role in Everton which allows him to pick up plenty of goals and assists. His next fixtures include Liverpool, Southampton, Newcastle and United. So I'd say apart from Liverpool, the next three fixtures after that look very promising for some more returns in the future for Hammers. So the fourth player on the list is Jack Grealish from Villa. Jack Grealish was the king of the game week this week, getting 24 game week 4 points. That's totally scored to 35 points for the season, making him the third highest scoring midfielder so far. Coming in at just £7 million and owned by just 11.4% of managers, he is another very under-owned and undervalued option considering that he scored 3 goals, got 3 assists and had 2 clean sheets this season so far. Coming in with a number 5 ICT index ranking that is very very impressive and with the next fixtures of Leicester, Leeds, Southampton and Arsenal, this is a big opportunity for him to get some more attacking returns in the future. So the fifth and final player on the list for best midfielder picks for game week 5 is Wilfred Zaha from Crystal Palace. Wilfred Zaha has 26 total points for the season, making him the seventh highest scoring midfielder. Coming in at just £7.2 million and owned by just 20.5% of managers, he's looking like a very nice differential pick in the midfield as he's got three goals and one clean sheet this season. Wilfred Zaha is the main man for Crystal Palace as he has scored three out of their seven goals this season. His next fixtures include Brighton, Fulham, Wolves and Leeds, which is very promising for some more goals and assists for Wilfred Zaha in the upcoming game weeks. So that's all I've got for today guys for the best midfielder picks for game week 5. If you guys enjoyed the video give it a like and subscribe and leave a comment who you guys are bringing into the team this week and are you guys going to bring in any of these midfielders. With that being said I'll see you guys in the next one.